Right, this is shoe with a review of uh, the latest uh, running training shoe from Prospex, a Korean uh, sneaker brand. They've been knocking it off the park with uh, the X40, which had a boost-like foam, but it wasn't. Like, well, it was not boost. It actually felt better than boost in some aspect, called the Invisible Rebound. And then they came up with the Pro Flick, which was very closely resembling the boost, and it was as good as boost. But I wish they stuck with the X40. And then they had the X40 Run, which was a much softer foam. It was very, very low to the ground. At the same time, it has it had a lot of compression and give and cushioning and shock absorption on the heel. On the forefoot, it was very low, but it was overall pretty decent. Uh, now this uh, Enerjet for size 9, it weighs about uh, 290 grams, pretty lightweight. Uh, they use this new foam called the Wonder Bouncer. Unfortunately, it's not it's not working. It's not as good as any of the three previous running models. I wish they would go back to the drawing board and bring those back instead. Uh, what they have working in terms of the shock absorption or the shock distribution is that they have this hollowed out part on the core of the heel. And even the fourth of this is all just exposed midsole and a lot of thick grooves. So there's a lot of give on the central part of the shoe. So that's what you feel when you feel that com soft compression as you land on those areas. So what happens is when the foam expands and fills the grooves and gaps, yeah, you feel it working. But once your weight is already there, you're standing on the shoe and you're going to need further cushioning or you're going to further exert yourself by compressing on the heel of the forefoot, there's not going to be much else to go from there. Which, what most shoes cushioning, whether it's boost, bounce, invisible rebound, um, whatever the foam is, well, the foam, what the foam needs to do is it needs to be able to be dense enough to compress a little bit when your weight is on the shoe. And then it needs to have that added ability to compress a little bit further and then bounce back, provide the energy return and maintain a certain level of uh, certain level of fluffiness, I suppose, certain level of resistance when your body weight is on the shoe. And then when there's added force, added force that's hitting or ramming the compressing the foam, but this, it compresses almost immediately upon wear and there's really not much else it does in terms of additional cushioning or shock absorption or support. It feels okay when you're walking around with it gently moving around, but if you were to run or land hard or uh, plant your foot hard or, or pivot yourself hard on certain points, the cushioning is not exactly there. I mean, it's better than, you know, Converse or some hard rubber, but definitely it's not as good as some of the foam cushioning, not even compared to the the very admirable foam cushioning that Prospex has provided in the past. So we should go back to the drawing board in terms of that design. I think it's pretty, pretty decent and original. Uh, they use a, a very unique TPU yarn type of extra layers there. So it's, it's very durable and flexible at the same time. But when it's durable and flexible, what do you have? It's, it's not as breathable as it seems. You can see my, my finger, you can see the form of my finger, but you can't see it. So there's, this is pretty thick, so it's not breathable. Breathability is not a high point for this shoe. Overall, it's well padded. You feel nothing pinching or poking you in any sense. It's got a very solid, firm, rigid heel cup that hugs your foot really nicely. And added to that, it's got this thick layer of TPU molding or fusing around the heel cup better. So there's double reinforced heel cup or heel containment. So that's something I give high praise to. Uh, it's also very wide, uh, so you will have a certain level of stability, but I won't play this for any sports that involves lateral movement, so it's a luxury that this shoe did not need. Uh, the worst part of the shoe is the insole. It, at a glance, it looks like ortholite, but it's not. It's just a very soft, spongy material that looks like ortholite. As you can see, just one where you can see the, the shape of my toes forming around it and it's really flattened, bottomed out very quickly. So it's just paper thin, uh, get something else. Uh, traction wise, it's okay. It's got some decent rubber traction all around. Um, this is pretty interesting. Uh, pretty decent job. Uh, overall Prospects has done a good job of coming up with traction while not using, you know, really heavy thick rubber all over the shoe this is one of the rare brands that actually utilizes minimum rubber compound minimal rubber surface at the same time providing 
maximum amount of traction and grip on the on the floor so yeah it's it's okay for walking or standing around for a long time if you like the design you can get it but in terms of the shock absorption and the energy return the wonder bouncer that's used in this one very much pales in comparison to the x40 the proflick and the x41